morning children how are you all okay now i shall draw some pictures and i want you to answer this okay suppose what is this what is this yes it is a flower how many flowers how many flowers you can see on the board yes only one flower then how many flowers here again one flower only at two so how many flowers are there one hope you all know the numbers no don't say you forgot during the corona holidays you all know the numbers what comes first yes one or oh, what is the second number two this is one second number is two and this is three okay now i know that you you, know, you didn't forget the counting i know so now we shall add up all this add up means what when your mother tells you to go into the garden and get me some flowers for puja so 1 plus 1 plus 1 is equal to how many are there you tell me 1 ah 1 what comes after 1 yes 2 what comes after 2 3 so 1 2 3 so how many flowers did you bring for your mother for the puja three flowers how do you know your mummy what two three so you have got three flowers all together okay so for another example is a chocolate i'm not drawing in a chocolate as a chocolate i know you all will come running the running to lick the board how many chocolates are there count one chocolate i'll put plus signs here you know no what are these called plus add What is it called? These are called add additions. So one chocolate plus one chocolate plus one chocolate again plus one chocolate. So how many chocolates have you got? How many chocolates have you got? Tell me. One chocolate. One after two chocolates. Three chocolates, four chocolates. So this is one a very a low standard of teaching. Now I shall teach you actual additions. Okay, this is only for you in that play play room. When you add, I think you know the house names, no? What are the three house names? You start from the lowest one. Lowest one, one house, ten house, hundred house. Now, one house, ten house. Only these two houses you will be shall learn because they are too small. Because you have just come from upper KG, you know. So when you are going to second standard from upper KG, you have come to first standard. Here we teach you maths, and before the exams, we will we shall teach you hundred thousands. Understand? So one house, one house means this is called one house. But for shortcut, we say O. Isn't it? Then the second one is this is the baby house. This is called the baby house, and this is called the 
T means what? O. What is meaning of O? Suppose your name is some Balram or something. Balu, Balu, Balu. Your mommy calls you. Your mommy calls you. Why? Because they cannot call you the whole name Balram. So this is one sound. We only say O. Don't say O, O. No. That is wrong way of pronouncing. O. So one sound. We say it as O. What do you say? How do you pronounce? O. Then second one is T. T means what? Ten sounds. T means what? Ten sounds. Suppose I give you. So these are the house names. In addition, you have only two houses. The smallest house is the one house, and next is the ten sounds. Suppose I say. And you see, this is all one house, and this is all ten house. In the middle, you have to leave one square. Okay, and the plus sign should come out. The plus sign should be out. Don't put it somewhere inside. If you put it out inside, we don't have place for the number. So I tell you, children, this is all one check. The middle check you can leave for you for not getting confused like so that you will not get confused. So and then here is the answer. This should be the answer part. You no need to write answer, but you just understand. And where should the plus sign come? It should be out of the boxes. Yeah, this is the margin. Understand? It should be outside the boxes. Now I tell you, which one will you start adding? You will you add ten house first, or will you add one house first? I told you we should add the baby house first. Baby house. What is the baby house here? Tell me, what is the baby's house? One house or the ten house? Yes, one house is called the baby's house. Understand? So, what is under? What are the numbers in the one house? Three and two. Then how do you add three and two? You have any upper cut, upper upper cut, upper any magic? Huh? Miss, I know, miss. No magic is there. Everything has a logic, no magic. Now you see the first number. What is the first number, children? You know the numbers, no? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So what is the first number? Is it four? Yes, it is three. The first number is three. What do you do with that three? That three put it in your mind. Put it in your mind. Inside your mind, first number in the mind, first number in the mind, and then in the same house, one house, first number in the mind, second number two, second number is two. So open two fingers. So what is in your mind? What number is in your mind? Yes, you have put three in the mind. So leave off the three. Leave it off. What comes after three? After three comes what? Four, five. Yes, correct. No other color. Again, I'll tell you tomorrow because one day explaining is not enough for you. Then you go to the ten house. Now the baby house is over. Then the next house is the ten house. So what is the first house again here? In the ten house. Sorry, what is the first number? In the tens house, what is the first number? Five. Again, where do you put it in your bag? Huh? No, say in your mind. Put that five in your mind. Lock it up. You know, lock it up. Okay, you know. Five. Put it in your mind. And second number is four. Second number for all the first numbers you have to put it in your mind. All the second numbers you have to open your fingers. Your second number is four. 
ready so what is in your mind the first number five is in your mind so take out your fingers five in the mind five after six seven eight nine that is the answer so this is how you should say so this is the answer 95 you may or may not leave a blank here because i'm telling you for the neatness of it if you have to come to school i would have made you do it neatly since you are at home i'm making you i'm giving you a hint of how to do it neatly so today i'll stop it but don't worry tomorrow again i'll explain the same thing okay children you practice the sum at home